What's up YouTube? Welcome to Airhead Weapons. Today I'm finally getting around to shooting this. The HDX68, I think it's the HDX68, I can never remember the designations. At some ballistics gel, now I've got 10 and 20%. The 20% is way firmer than the 10, I'm not going to lie. I thought that the 10% felt like flesh, but when I was squeeze it, I, f I feel like the 20% is more flesh-like. We're going to see what this does to that. It's just going to be a quick video and it's pointless, I know. It's just fun, isn't it? So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you stick around here because I've got loads of stuff to shoot. Also, I'd like to apologise if this is slightly out of focus. I'm doing this inside. My wife's gone out to get her hair done. And if she finds out I'm doing this indoors, I'm going to be in trouble. So, shh. Anyway, starting off with 68 rubber only. You know that brand. I don't think it's name. But we've all seen it, 68. Right, so first off, I'm going to be using the rubber only. I'm going to do one shot of that, and then I'm going to do one shot of rubber and steel, just to see the difference between the two. First off, rubber into 10% jelly. So I went a bit low on that first one. Luckily, I didn't press um, play on the slow-mo, even though it's not really slow-mo. But yeah, you know what I mean. I'm going to try that again. That hit it. And I'm only about to 10 feet away. I want to make it like realistic indoor use, you know? Okay, so look at that. That's the rubber only. I need to aim a little bit higher next time. But there's like a shock wave around that. 10% gel now for the um, rubber and steel. <laughs> it, that looks like it's gone through further. I don't know. Look at that. I'm shocked at that. I was expecting the lighter rubber only to be traveling faster and penetrate further, but the heavier one went through. That's a cool light halo around there. That is very cool. Very interested to see what's going to happen with the 20%, which is what we'll do now. So, guys, we're getting warm. So same as before, rubber first, then steel into 20% ballistics gel that I made. I've got a video for that below if you want to know how to make it. Okay, so my sight's gone. I'm going to have to win this by eye. Nice. That was nice. Interesting. That didn't penetrate anywhere near as far. I think it's less than half. We'll compare them later on, but that's very interesting. That's rubber, still next. Still rubber, sorry. Right, I'm getting really sweaty because I'm getting frustrated with myself because I just forgot to press play on the, um, the other camera. So I'm redoing the rubber again. And the footage you see me talking about it would be the first shot, this is just the second shot, just so I can pick something up on the slow-mo. Interestingly, that seems very similar in terms of penetration. Now, the camera's not picking it up that well, and I don't know why, maybe it's angle or something like that. But it, to the eye, there isn't much difference in how far they've gone in. Rubber still, I should say. Hold on. I had a slight panic then because I thought the wife could come back. Oh. Look at that gap, that's opening up as I speak. I wonder if it is. I think I might have shot the wrong ones, you know. One's definitely rubber steel and one's definitely just rubber. Interesting, they were pretty much the same. I'm gonna turn this around and Hit the other side. Definitely still rubber this time. Could be because the gas is low, but I don't think it is. I've only had five shots out of our cart out of the two cartridges in here, so. So look at that, that is super interesting. They're both, I'd say, okay, so the steel wall, the heavier one, has traveled slightly further in say by about 60 or 6 mil looks more than it actually is that's super interesting so here is a side by side comparison that is the 10 percent and over here we have the 20 percent 
I might do a short video later on with 30% and see how much difference that makes. If you want to see that, comment below. I have just looked and seen that that lightweight ball actually was basically touching the side. I think some of the friction might have slowed that down. That's why the heavier went so much further. Having said that though, this surface here is quite slippery, so I don't think it would have had any effect. I think the gel itself would have been more of a friction. I'm gonna show you one more time, I think. Just gonna do one more rubber only on the 10%, just to make sure I am hitting it dead in the gel. And we're not getting any anonymous, 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 you know the word I'm trying to say, <laughs> um, readings because we skimmed the surface of the table. It's science what I do here. These things are so much fun to shoot. Can you believe it? I put it on bloody time lapse. Right, one more time. That's exactly where I had it before, so it's pointless. One more time. There we go. Please. Please be on slow-mo. <sighs> so you can't really see what's happening there because it's a bit of madness. Let's see if I can go around this side. But it's obvious that the it travelled the same distance actually. So the table had no effect on it whatsoever. I just wanted to make sure that little expansion that they've done in there is cool as. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> So there we have it guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, like say, there's more content coming out like this. I've got loads more different things to shoot. Thank you very much for your time. And I apologize for my heavy breathing. I am well out of shape, but cardio is the worst. And chips slash pizza are the best. <laughs> anyway, take care guys. Thank you much for being here. Till the next time.